Kenley Francis here from Martin Uncovered Private Tours at uh, Renabista Earth House. Uh, now, an earth house is an Iron Age um, subterranean dwelling or type of uh, structure that's from the Iron Age, two, th two and a half thousand years ago, that may have been used for storing food as such, uh, maybe burial. Uh, this one, particularly, a number of bones were found in here uh, when it was excavated in the late uh, 1920s, early 30s. Um, so we're going to go and head inside. This is the bunker ahead of me here. It looks like a bunker from the war. It's quite cool, actually. So we're going to head down here. Now, one of my good friends is in here. Her name is Shona. She lives in Orkney, and this is her first trip. I think it's her first trip inside the Renabista Earth House. So here we go. You ready? My crazy torch. So do check this out when you come up to Orkney. Well, the thing is about being six foot six is this is quite a small chamber. And this is me standing up fully in it and uh, you know so either these people were being tiny which is a myth by the way or um, this was used as some sort of bunker okay in the Iron Age how are you doing Shona are you okay yeah Shona's okay a bit camera shy I think uh, and uh, in here you've got one of the chambers so there is one two it's a pathway there or a passageway to teach up to the other side three four five chambers um, and it's made from sedimentary sandstone. So what you have in here is this big section of bedrock, um, which looks probably probably about two tons worth, heading all the way along this way into the other side. You have the chamber wall, which is made of dry sandstone. It's all hand cut. So two and a half thousand years ago, it had been hand cut, but in the Iron Age, they did have access to tools. So unlike the Neolithic period, which predates that by about roughly. Um, 3,000 years. Uh, Neolithic people in New Stone Age used stone items and tools, they in Iron Age, Bronze Age uh, metal tools. So it may have taken slightly less time to make it. Now this right at the other side, it takes you to the other side of uh, the structure. Now normally these earth houses would go around the corner into an area such as a burial chamber. This was discovered in, by accident in the early 1920s when a farmer um, had his threshing machine of his tractor uh, heading into the field partially fell in through the roof of this and this is what was discovered this little area here so you can see these walls um, look like small standing stones they provide support for perhaps the chambers around it but they also provide support for the roof the roof above us as you can see has been um, added to at some stage uh, but it's one of these amazing little sites that you come into it in all weather and uh, get a bit of shelter. It's quite damp here, but that's from the floor. So I've taken my torch off and you can see how dark it is now. Okay, so here we go. Torch back on guys, you ready? I'm not gonna blind you here with the torch. This is a lupine or lupine uh, German head torch from the German military. It's pretty good stuff like. So there we go. How are you getting on Shona? Good. Enjoying yourself? You don't wanna be on camera now? Nope. Poor Shona. Right, so um, anyway, so Shona is here investigating the site with me. And uh, what we're going to do shortly is going to head out of it for you. But if you come up to Orkney, uh, this is called Renabister. It's on Renabister Farm. So uh, when you drive in towards Corkwalk, it's on the left hand side from the main road. So you come in here and it's free to get into. Okay. Uh, if you're scared of small spaces, then it might be troublesome for you. But it really isn't that small a space to get into it. So as I stand up a bit, what I've got here is this lintel heading down across to the other side of the uh, of the uh, of the entrance, and then uh, behind me some more of these areas of storage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to head back up the way. Pretty sure I was trying to stay off the camera. My wife Kirsty's like this as well. She'd be trying to escape from the camera. Now this is the ladder. Trying to concentrate here. Getting too old for this. It's on an active farm, Renabista Earth House. So the Earth House is this structure under me here. Okay. So right under this position is the Earth House. And as you move outside of the gate, what you can see is a small sign that's been used by, developed by Historic Scotland. And it tells you a bit about the earth house for you. Wideford Hill ahead of us. 
in the distance. So from Kinley Francis here from Orkney Uncovered Private Tours to yourselves and the rest of the world, hope you've enjoyed this short video of an earth house from the Iron Age two and a half thousand years ago. And I uh, look forward to taking you on tour in 2020 and beyond. All the very best. Bye bye.